Between 1900 and 1910, there were 28 train wrecks in the United States. All but one of those accidents resulted in the loss of human life. The first crash of the 20th century was a train that began its journey right here in Memphis. And it created a folk hero that is still remembered to this day. So Casey Jones is a name that is synonymous with railroad history, but a lot of people don't realize that his story is actually closely intertwined with Memphis railroad history, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, Casey began his trip to the promised land here in Memphis. The station that he started from was the Poplar Street Station, which is located on the north side of downtown uh, across Front Street from where uh, the Renaissance Center is today. April 29th, uh, 1900, Train number one, the New Orleans Express, was getting ready to go south, and uh, it was an hour and 55 minutes late. The engineer that was supposed to take it south had called in sick, so they asked uh, Casey and his fireman, Sim Webb, uh, to do a, a quick turn and take that train south uh, to Canton, Mississippi. As he was coming into Vaughan, there was a passenger train and two freight trains, and they had a problem with one of the trains. They had broken an airline, and they did not put a flagman out far enough to, to give Casey enough warning. He came around the curve, uh, saw the flagman, saw the train ahead, uh, put on the brakes, hit the sander, threw it in reverse, did everything he could to stop it, but couldn't get it stopped. And the last things he said was, jump, Sim, jump. And so Sim jumped off the locomotive. He was fine. There were about seven or eight people that had minor injuries. Casey was killed in the wreck. Nobody else was seriously injured in the crash. So you guys have a little bit uh, of a tribute to Casey Jones here at the museum. Yes, that's correct. This is the picture of Casey Jones on locomotive 638. Uh, this is the only known picture of him at work. And this was taken down near Water Valley, Mississippi. Then we have three pictures here. We have the picture here of Sim, the picture here of Sim, and the picture here of Sim. And those were taken for a photo shoot for Ebony Magazine in the 1950. And the last thing we got, and of course, this is important because it was the song about him that made him so famous. And this is a sheet music for the Casey Jones Brave Engineer. Story about a brave engineer. Well, let's kind of talk a little bit about that relationship between him and Sim Webb because I assume working on a train together, you're spending a lot of hours together. Oh, yeah, right? spending a lot of hours together. And the other thing, the thing to me that's so significant about that is the fact that uh, they had worked together several years as an engine crew. And uh, they worked together in Water Valley, Mississippi. And when Casey was made to transfer to Memphis to take a, th this run up here, Sim volunteered and transferred with him from Water Valley to Memphis. Sim wouldn't have volunteered to transfer so they could continue to crew together unless they were really good friends, you know. And of course, Casey was white, as you've probably all seen pictures of Casey Jones, but Sim was black. And yet, this is 1900, and these two guys were really close friends, or they wouldn't have done that. What's the one thing that you hope people learn about Casey when they come in here and they see this exhibit? You look at the relationship between Casey and Sim. They, they had this tremendous relationship, you know, good friendship there. And I think that's the important thing to remember, you know, and especially uh, today here in Memphis, you know, we can be close friends with everybody around us. 